I'll be showing eight new features in Microsoft Teams. This includes the long requested apps and polls and channel meetings, avatars, whiteboard updates, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is a long time request and that is app support for things like polls in your channel meetings, especially in education, a large number of channel meetings, now you can have apps in them. So I've set up my channel meeting here and I'm gonna open it up. Now at the top, I'll hit plus, and this is before the meeting starts, but you can do it during the meeting as well. I have all my different apps available now, so I'm gonna search for one of the most popular, which is polls. I'll select this, click add, and then save. Now I have all the features that you have in the normal polls app, which is powered by Microsoft Forms. Some suggestions on the side, I can create a new poll before the meeting starts, and also when I'm in the meeting, I can have all these things as well. So I'll just select this one here, and we'll save it as a draft, and I'll join the meeting. Now I'm in this channel meeting and you'll see the polls app is right here and I can still add other apps. So it's really easy to add apps into your channel meetings. So I have all the other choices that I would have to add an app into my channel meeting, just like in a regular meeting. And I'm gonna launch my poll. There we go. The second new feature is the ability to mention everyone in a chat. So I have five people in my chat up here and if I wanna at mention all of them, it takes a while to type it out. So now in the chat area, I just do at and then everyone and I can notify everyone in the chat. Now I just hit send. Now let's switch over to Nestor and show what he sees on his end. I'm signed in as Nestor and the activity bell right here says Deborah mentioned everyone. So they'll all get that chat mentioned in the activity bell as well as in the chat message. This also works in meeting chats. So at the meeting here, I just do everyone. Same thing, I can notify everyone in this meeting chat. The third new feature is avatars, which is now in public preview. And this is best seen versus me just describing it. So I've set up a meeting right here. I'm gonna click this and I'll click join. The first place you can access avatars is right here where it says effects and avatars. And if I click this, you'll see avatars. I've not created one yet and we're gonna walk through how to do that. But that's a virtual representation of yourself in a Teams meeting. And it's right next to the video effects. So you can click create avatar right here but I'm gonna go in and I'll show you where you can access it within the actual meeting. So let's click join now. Here I am in the team meeting. Now maybe today I don't feel like having my real self and I wanna put on the avatar instead. So I'm gonna go up to the three dot menu right here and there's effects and avatars and let's choose that. Then switch over to avatars and now I'm gonna do create your avatar. This launches a pop-up that's gonna say add avatar. So I'll click add. Now this has launched the new Avatars app for Teams. And this is a new app that you can create and design exactly the avatar that works best for you. So I will click Get Started. Now you'll see there are a bunch of different starter avatars right here, and you can go and select through and look through the different ones that you wanna pick. You can pick one as a starting point and then make all sorts of updates to everything from clothes to face to hair, everything that you need. So I'm gonna go here and pick a starter avatar. Since I have gray hair, I'm gonna start with this one. And I'll click Use Avatar. Now comes the fun part. I'm gonna click on Customize right here. And there are so many different options to choose from. We have everything from body shape. You can choose different body shapes here and you can see how that body shape will change. And if you wanna go in and customize, anytime you hit this little customization dialog, you can do all sorts of very specific customizations. So everything from abdomen right here, to make your waist bigger or smaller. I mean, you can go on endlessly in customizing these things and it's really interesting. There's the face ones. So everything from eyes, eyelashes, nose, mouth, ears. And just like before, you can choose default settings like this and clicking around, but you can also click on face shape and customization. And there's all sorts of customizations, cranium height, head depth. And I go here and click next page. Next page, there's cheek information, chin information. You can really customize anything that you want. Then you go into hair, same as before. Hairstyles you can choose or you can drill in customization. Even things like facial hair, so mustaches, beards, goatees, eyebrows. And then you go to appearance. You can add things like lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, eyeliner, so all sorts of different customizations. Going to wardrobe here, you can choose what you want to be wearing. So under layer, outerwear, it's pretty much an endless amount of customizations that you can make your avatar look exactly how you want to. I'll go back to body here. And then there's also things like prosthetic and skin tone. So anything you want to do for your avatar, you can. 
In this case, I'll click discard. You can also add multiple avatars. So you can have different personas based on how you're feeling in a specific day, and you can customize those to as much as you want. Now what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna flip forward and I've done some customization to try and give myself what I think is the most representation of myself. It's pretty tough to do because there's so many different tweaks, but let's switch over and see what that looks like. Okay, here is my avatar. I've updated myself to the best of my ability. It's not perfect me, but you know, it works good enough. And so now what I'm gonna do is switch over to a Teams meeting and I'm gonna turn on my avatar and then show how you can do things like react and do different emotions and a lot of fun stuff. So I'm back here in Teams meetings and I'm gonna select my avatar here and I'm gonna select a background. Let's choose this one right here and then I'll hit apply avatars. And hey, here I am in the meeting and you can see as I'm talking, my mouth is moving. I can go here for avatar reactions. I can do like, hey, that's great. I can do a heart, I can do a laugh. Ah, 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 ah. And there's lots of other options. I can change my background really easy right here. If I click and say apply avatars, hey, now I've got a nice, fun, magical background. So all sorts of options under show all, you can do all sorts of different reactions. Tons of different stuff here. And I'm not gonna go through each one of those. And you can pin some of the ones you want. So if you wanna do the aristocrat bow and pin that, now I'll do aristocrat bow. Oh, very nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm having some fun bows there. So you have a sense here. There's lots of different fun stuff you can do with the avatar reactions. I'll hit back right here. Also, right now you have to be 18 or older to get this. So in education environments, this is not rolling out, but you have lots of fun here in commercial environments and you should explore and there'll be more capabilities coming to avatars in the future. The fourth new feature is the ability to magnify slides that you're viewing when you're viewing them in PowerPoint Live. So Deborah here is sharing the solar system deck and I wanna zoom in a little bit on Saturn right here. So I'm gonna hit the three dot menu in the lower left and there's a magnify slide only for me. So I'll click plus and it's gonna zoom this in. Ooh, isn't that nice? Zoom way in. I can drag over here when I click and drag. There's Uranus and there's Neptune. And you can see it's 267% zoomed in. To zoom back out, hit the three dot menu and you can hit the minus button a few times and you're back to where you started. And again, no one else sees this, only you do. The fifth new feature is reusable whiteboards. I'm here in a Teams meeting and I'm gonna open up Microsoft Whiteboard here from the share tray. What you see here is existing whiteboards that have already been created. So I can choose from existing whiteboards. In this case, I'm gonna choose new whiteboard right here. And now I've got a new whiteboard. If you wanna get back to that list of all your different whiteboards, click the home button right here, whiteboard gallery, and you can get back to them really quickly. So we'll go into the one I'm editing. The sixth new feature is loop component support in whiteboards. Loop components are collaborative components that are rolling out across M365. You can have these in Teams, now in Outlook, they're coming to Word, there are loop pages as well. I'm gonna switch over to Teams and grab a loop table component that I've already been working on so we can collaborate in this meeting. So let's go to Teams. Here's a chat I had with Nestor and Patty, and here's my loop component right here. I'm gonna go and copy link right here. Click this. Now let's go back into the whiteboard. And now I can go and we can collaborate in real time, and I can size it a little bit bigger, and we're gonna have Patty and Nestor add things as well. So what you can see is that Nestor and Patty are also in here. They've added some information. I can get their little hovering here and see who has the file open. And I can also copy this component and put it in other places. I can put it in Outlook. I can put it in Word for the web. I can even open the loop page itself right here. So if I click this link, here I am the loop page and everyone is still collaborating. I could put this loop component in lots of other places. The seventh new feature is the follow me feature in whiteboards, which is great for Teams meetings. Now I have a whiteboard here, but if I zoom out, you'll see there are other parts. And sometimes when you're on a whiteboard, you're moving around and you don't want other people to get lost when you're moving around that board. So what I'm gonna do is go up and right here, I'm Deborah Berger, I have this everyone follow me option. I'm gonna click this and now at the bottom it says participants are following you. Now the other people have to choose to accept your following request. So let's switch over to Nestor and Patty and see what that looks like. I'm switched over as Patty here, and there's this little Deborah Berger invited you to follow their view. So I will click accept. Now it says I'm following Deborah Berger. So as she moves around the whiteboard, my screen will move with her. I'll have Nestor accept as well really quickly. Okay, Nestor also has the same little invite to follow. So I'll click 
accept. And now I'm following Deborah Brigger. So as Deborah moves around the board, I'm going to switch back and you'll see that everyone else's screen changes from where it is here. So Deborah is going to zoom out and she's going to go over here and zoom in really closely to this part of the board that says smart. And we're going to have the specific measurable, attainable, relevant and timely goals. So we're going to zoom in and we're going to work on this attainable part right here. So I'll say, now let's switch back to Nestor and see what his screen looks like. So as Nestor, it's zoomed into the exact same spot, attainable. Here's my sticky note. It says I'm following Deborah Berger. Now, if I want to stop following Deborah Berger, maybe I want to zoom out and look at a different part. I can still do that and zoom over here and check out other things as Nestor. But at the bottom, it says live, resume following Deborah Berger. So if I want to jump back to where Deborah is, I click the little arrow and bam, it jumps me right back to the exact spot that Deborah is in. Let's switch back to Deborah. When I finish doing the part where people are following me, I can go up here and say stop follow me mode and turn that off. The eighth new feature is an improved sharing window in a Teams meeting. So I'm here in a meeting with Ella and I'm going to share my window. And this also works with your desktop as well. I'll choose share and then window and then I'll choose this window here. You'll see the new improved sharing window right here in the lower right. The controls are on the top like this. If someone has an active video that'll come through. What's also really nice is if someone raises their hand, you can now see it actively in this little sharing control. You'll see that Ella just popped up her hand. I get a little notification. So if multiple people are raising their hands, all those little notifications will come here. And now I can see that Ella is the one that has her hand raised. So it's really easy to see that context while you're sharing a window or your desktop. And then when you're done, you can just click the X right here and stop sharing. And I pop back into the main Teams meeting window. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.